Hi, this is Maya, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw an anime boy. So what we want to do is we want to start off with a circle. This will just be the basis lines for his uh, face. And we want to start blocking off the chin. It's alright if you spend a lot of time getting those lines perfect. I probably will spend quite a bit of time on it. And uh, it's a really important part of getting the proportions of the face correct. You can go ahead and put in a few lines for the shoulders and the neck. Start filling in those lines, making them more distinct. And what we're going to do is put in a few horizontal and vertical lines just for the placement of the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Here's your vertical line. We're going to add here the collarbone and the line in the neck, it really gives it a more masculine feel if you if you put a pretty distinct collarbone in, in there. And we can start blocking out the eyes. This is a frontal view, so his eyes will be pretty centered. And we'll put in the eyelashes. For this expression, we're giving kind of a sad smile, as you can tell from the finished product on the left. So we're going to tip the eyebrows down a bit. And you'll notice actually on the top of the lashes that they're pretty flat. And if, uh, if he was smiling and the eyebrows were raised, those top eyelashes would be very curved. But because he is frowning, you will want to make sure that um, they are tipped downwards. What we're going to do here is we're going to try to sketch in the nose. Because of the frontal view, the nose will be pretty minimum. And, but you'll want to have that big shadow on the left just so that you know that there is some depth to that nose. Also want to add in a little smile and the bottom lip. Already we can see that uh, we have our basic plot lines for the face. Just doing a little bit of angling out here. plotting in the ears, and a good basis for the ears is the top of the ear should align with the top of the eye. So that's always a good uh, strategy for placing the ears perfectly. Adding just a couple of eyes around the eyebrows, just to create a little bit of tension there. And finally we can start blocking in the hair. For this boy I'm doing just kind of a basic bang, but if you find that boring go ahead and add um, any type of hairstyle that you want. His hair is a little bit longer, so I'm going to put a couple of strands underneath his ears. But mostly, what you want to just try to do is keep it really shaggy. Even when we color it in, we're going to do really messy lines and just not make anything really too perfect because uh, if you start getting too perfect, then it starts to look less like a boy. We're going to continue to fill in the hair. And we're going to add a couple of just stray strands, again, to just not make it look too perfect.
and we finally have pretty much the basic outline for our boar's face. So on that note, we're going to get our pen. I'm using a Prismacolor pen, and the size is 05. If you find that too thick, you can go with a smaller size. And what I always try to block in first is um, usually on boys, the ears, and the hair. You want to do the areas that you think will not overlap. So if this is a girl, I would definitely start with the bangs first. But because this is a boy, you can see that there are no overlapping um no hair, nothing that's overlapping the chin and the shoulders, so you can go ahead and fill those lines out first. Just filling in the details of the ear. The mouth. For all these lines, just keep your hand really loose and uh, Try not to be really tense or anything because uh, if you do that, then you'll find that it's much harder to make the lines look natural and flowing. It'll just look tense and choppy if you worry too much about it. Here I'm filling in the eyelashes. And we're adding a small pupil. Also adding a little bit of darkness around the eyes just to give them some depth. And the eyes are almost done. adding in the pupil. You can see how much the boy is coming to life now that we have the eyes blocked out. What I'm doing here is just darkening up the eyelashes a little bit. There we go. adding a couple of darker lines in the in the eye to make it pop a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in the eyebrows. These should be pretty thick because it's a male. And you can see that I overlapped this right eyebrow on the hair. I'm actually going to end up shortening those bangs a bit. So if, uh, if you want to keep those bangs long, try to try not overlap those. I and mean, you can, but most styles, um, you know, if, you know, in real styles, you wouldn't see eyebrows overlapping the hair. So as such, I will, I will do the same in most of my lessons. Filling in a couple of the hair strands below the ears. Also just touching up the eyes a little bit, making that bottom lid a little bit thicker. And we can finally start blocking in the hair a little bit more. Make sure you make this really shaggy and messy. And we are mostly done with the boy. I'm going to go ahead and block in the collarbone here. And you can erase. Once we erase these lines, they'll be good to go for coloring.
Then we can take our pen and slowly fill in the ears, just the details. And we are pretty much done with inking the boy and we're ready for coloring now.